What's good YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name is Dylan and today I'm going to teach you how to install a smart thermostat. Just a quick disclaimer, I am not an electrician, so if you do not feel comfortable, please consult a licensed professional. Stay safe. The third thermostat that we're working with today is the Ecobee 3 Lite. And the reason why we chose this is just because it had a lot more functionality, customizability, and integrations with like IFTT and other apps. Uh, that just made our lives easier compared to the Nest. I do like how the Nest looks, but just the Eagle B works with our lifestyle better. Nonetheless, let's get straight into how to install this thermostat. There's a few tools that you'll probably need. Um, the main things would be just like a flathead, a Phillips, uh, pliers are usually pretty helpful, a drill to help you mount the thermostat onto the wall. And just to be safe, I always like to have a voltmeter on hand just to make sure that you can check if there's electricity running through the wires. If you have all your tools ready to go, then we can start taking out the old thermostat and putting it onto the new one. So when you're working with anything electrical, the most important thing to do is make sure you can cut the power off. Some furnaces have this switch right beside it so you can actually turn off the furnace from there. While we do have that, I don't really trust anything so if i can shut the power off somewhere else i like to go to the power breakers you know it's better to be safe than sorry so locate your breaker switches and make sure you can turn off the furnace whatever you think is connected to it so just to be extra sure there's no power running through the wires one of the best ways to make sure that you actually did turn everything off is uh, setting all of the fans on your thermostat to pretty much high so that when you take a look at the vents you can tell there's no air moving around and you'll actually hear the furnace not working once you cut the power off some of the old thermostats like this one have a backup battery power uh, so the thermostat still may be on but it doesn't necessarily mean that there's power running through the wires once you're pretty sure the power is off all you have to do is take off your old thermostat most thermostats just pull right off like this this one in particular i had to wedge it from the bottom and i was scared to break it but just go for it and it should be okay most thermostats come off pretty easily this is the time where i like to just be extra careful and actually use the voltmeter to check if there's power running through it because I don't want to get shocked so you know just taking that extra safety precaution is always nice so the number one thing is you want to make sure that your old thermostat was not high voltage so if you were to see wire nuts or anything that says 110 vac 120 vac or something you probably can't use a smart thermostat so this is something that you should definitely check before you even go out and buy a smart thermostat otherwise you're going to want to be looking for is a c wire this is not a make or break deal but it does make our lives easier so if you have a c wire you're good to go in our case we have a c wire and then the other thing is the g wire which is the ground wire and as long as you got those three things in check uh, you can follow this tutorial um, so once i've made sure that all of our wires were there that were the minimum requirements i took a picture because in case i didn't mess something up or didn't know what to do with the ecobee we can always revert back to the old thermostat which is pretty important especially in winter months when you need to make sure you're not freezing in your house so now that i got a picture of all the wires on the old thermostat i wanted to make sure that i could label all of the wires because once we take that back plate off it's going to be hard to remember which one is what so on most old thermostats there's actually labels to where the wires have gone into if you can see right here uh, there were two labels one said conventional and the other said heat pump i don't know what either of those are but i'm just assuming conventional is what the majority of us have so that's kind of what i went with it makes it really easy to install because they come with these stickers and you just basically put them onto the wires then you'll be able to label which one is which once you've labeled all of your wires, all you have to do is take off that back plate and you can start installing your new Ecobee. So the Ecobee gives you like this gigantic wall plate. Uh, you don't need to use it, but if you did ding the wall or they cut a very large hole for the old thermostat, you may need to use this, but we just want a clean, simple look. So we just put the mounting bracket on, made sure that it was level and just drilled the mount onto the wall. The next step, super easy. You basically just match up your labels with the holes that have the same letters. To make sure you're installing the wires correctly on the Ecobee back plate, uh, you just basically put the wire through the hole on the side and make sure that it clips all the way back. Um, there's those tabs and if the tabs go all the way back that's how you know it's done correctly another way to make sure that you've done it correctly is you pull on the wire a little bit and make sure it doesn't come out if it can stay in there while you pull the tug on it 
uh, then you're good. If not, just do it again and make sure it stays in there. And then once all the wires are tucked away, uh, you can just put on the Ecobee. All you gotta do is just match up the metal pins with the holes and it'll just click into place. Once that's on there, basically you wanna make sure it works, turn on the furnace, uh, come back to the thermostat and just, you'll see a really cool animation. Go through the instructions over there. What we had to do here was just install the app, make sure we created a login, set up the Wi-Fi, and then you're good to go. But other than that, here are some of our favorite features for the Ecobee. The comfort settings that we have are super helpful on saving on our bill. Uh, our bill is quite expensive because the insulation in our house isn't too thick. So when we're asleep or when we're away, we drop the temperature of our house around three degrees. And that way, you know, we're not heating up a house that doesn't need to be heated. Something that I found super helpful in this is using an app called IFTTT. And it's free, so all you have to do is set up a radius around your house. And whenever you leave that area, it basically knows that you're away and it automatically changes. That way I don't have to touch my phone. and we're making sure that we're energy efficient in this house. Lastly, Ecobee just created something called Eco Plus, which is a smart savings way for you to keep your house cost effective and energy efficient. Uh, long story short, they just basically use the information from your utilities company and just help you save money. There's a gauge on it, just basically on how the AI will take over your thermostat, but if you don't wanna activate that, that's fine as well. Now that we've got that installed, our next steps are basically trying to figure out how to hook up a humidifier because I think our house tends to lie on the drier side um, let me know if you guys have done that because any tips and tricks would be super helpful other than that let me know if this video has helped you out thanks so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys on the next one bye